Martianism was an early Christian dualist belief system that originated in the teachings of Marcion of Sinop at Rome around the year 144. Marcion believed Jesus was the Savior sent by God, and Paul the Apostle was his chief apostle, but he rejected the Hebrew Bible and the God of Israel. Martianists believed that the wrathful Hebrew God was a separate and lower entity than the all forgiving God of the New Testament. Martianism, similar to Gnosticism, depicted the God of the Old Testament as a tyrant or demiurge see also God as the Devil. Marcion was the son of a bishop of Sinop in Pontus. About the middle of the 2nd century 140-155 he traveled to Rome, where he joined the Syrian Gnostic Serto, Marcion's canon, possibly the first Christian canon ever compiled, consisted of eleven books, a gospel consisting of ten sections drawn from the Gospel of Luke, and ten Pauline epistles. Marcion's canon rejected the entire Old Testament, along with all other epistles and gospels of what would become the 27-book New Testament canon, which during his life had yet to be compiled. Paul's epistles enjoy a prominent position in the Marcionite canon, since Paul was considered by Marcion to be Christ's only true apostle. Martianism was denounced by its opponents as heresy and written against, notably by Tertullian in a five book treatise, Adversus Martionum, against Marcion, in about 208. Marcion's writings are lost, though they were widely read and numerous manuscripts must have existed. Even so, many scholars claim it is possible to reconstruct and deduce a large part of ancient Martianism through what later critics, especially Tertullian, said concerning Marcion. History According to Tertullian and other writers of early Proto-Orthodox Christianity, the movement known as Martianism began with the teachings and excommunication of Marcion around 144. Marcion was reportedly a wealthy shipowner, the son of a bishop of Sinop of Pontus, Asia Minor. He arrived in Rome c. 140, soon after Bar Kokhba's revolt. The organization continued in the East for some centuries later, particularly outside the Byzantine Empire in areas which later would be dominated by Manichaeism. <laughs> Schism within Martianism By the reign of Emperor Commodus 180 Martianism was divided into various opinions with various leaders, among whom was Apelles, whom Rodo describes as "...pritting himself on his manner of life and his age, acknowledges one principle, but says that the prophecies are from an opposing principle, being led to this view by the responses of a maiden by name Philumene, who was possessed by a demon." But others, among whom were Potitus and Basilicus, held to two principles, as did Marcion himself. Others consider that there are not only two, but three natures. Of these, Cineros was the leader and chief. Teachings The premise of Martianism is that many of the teachings of Christ are incompatible with the actions of the God of the Old Testament. Focusing on the Pauline traditions of the Gospel, Marcion felt that all other conceptions of the Gospel, and especially any association with the Old Testament religion, was opposed to, and a backsliding from, the truth. He further regarded the arguments of Paul regarding law and gospel, wrath and grace, works and faith, flesh and spirit, sin and righteousness, death and life, as the essence of religious truth. 
He ascribed these aspects and characteristics as two principles, the righteous and wrathful God of the Old Testament, who is at the same time identical with the Creator of the world, and a second God of the Gospel who is only love and mercy. Marcionites held that the God of the Hebrew Bible was inconsistent, jealous, wrathful and genocidal, and that the material world he created was defective, a place of suffering, the God who made such a world as a bungling or malicious demiurge. In Marcionite belief, Christ was not a Jewish messiah, but a spiritual entity that was sent by the monad to reveal the truth about existence, thus allowing humanity to escape the earthly trap of the demiurge. Marcion called God, the stranger God, or the alien God, in some translations, as this deity had not had any previous interactions with the world, and was wholly unknown. See also the unknown god of Hellenism and the Areopagus sermon. In various popular sources, Marcion is often reckoned among the Gnostics, but as the Oxford Dictionary of the Christian Church 3rd ed. puts it, it is clear that he would have had little sympathy with their mythological speculations. p. 1034. In 1911 Henry Wace stated, a primary difference between Marcionites and Gnostics was that the Gnostics based their theology on secret wisdom as, for example, Valentinius who claimed to receive the secret wisdom from Thutis who received it direct from Paul of which they claimed to be in possession, whereas Marcion based his theology on the contents of the letters of Paul and the recorded sayings of Jesus. In other words, an argument from Scripture, with Marcion defining what was and was not Scripture. Also, the Christology of the Marcionites is thought to have been primarily Docetic, denying the human nature of Christ. This may have been due to the unwillingness of Marcionites to believe that Jesus was the Son of both God the Father and the Demiurge. Scholars of early Christianity disagree on whether to classify Marcion as a Gnostic. Adolf von Harnack does not classify Marcion as a Gnostic, whereas G. R. S. Mead does. Harnack argued that Marcion was not a Gnostic in the strict sense because Marcion rejected elaborate creation myths, and did not claim to have special revelation or secret knowledge. Mead claimed Martianism makes certain points of contact with Gnosticism in its view that the creator of the material world is not the true deity, rejection of materialism and affirmation of a transcendent, purely good spiritual realm in opposition to the evil physical realm, the belief Jesus was sent by the true God to save humanity, the central role of Jesus in revealing the requirements of salvation, the belief Paul had a special place in the transmission of this wisdom and its docetism. According to the 1911 Encyclopedia Britannica article on Marcion, Martianism shows the influence of Hellenistic philosophy on Christianity, and presents a moral critique of the Old Testament from the standpoint of Platonism. According to Harnack, the sect may have led other Christians to introduce a formal statement of beliefs into their liturgy see creed, and to formulate a canon of authoritative scripture of their own, thus eventually producing the current canon of the New Testament. Marcion is believed to have imposed a severe morality on his followers, some of whom suffered in the persecutions. In particular, he refused to re-admit those who recanted their faith under Roman persecution, see also Lapsi Christian. <laughs> Marcionite canon Tertullian claimed Marcion was the first to separate the New Testament from the Old Testament. Marcion is said to have gathered scriptures from Jewish tradition, and juxtaposed these against the sayings and teachings of Jesus in a work entitled The Antithesis. 
Besides the antithesis, the Testament of the Marcionites was also composed of a Gospel of Christ which was Marcion's version of Luke, and that the Marcionites attributed to Paul, that was different in a number of ways from the version that is now regarded as canonical. It seems to have lacked all prophecies of Christ's coming, as well as the infancy account, the baptism, and the verses were more terse in general. It also included ten of the Pauline epistles, in the following order, Galatians, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Romans, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, Laodiceans, Colossians, Philippians, Philemon, Marcion's Apostolicon did not include the pastoral epistles or the epistle to the Hebrews. According to the Moratorian canon, it included a Marcionite pseudo-Paul's epistle to the Alexandrians and an epistle to the Laodiceans. The contents of this Marcionite epistle to the Laodiceans are unknown. Some scholars equate it with the epistle to the Ephesians, because the latter originally did not contain the words in Ephesus, and because it is the only non-pastoral Pauline epistle missing from the Marcionite canon, suggesting Laodiceans was simply Ephesians under another name. The epistle to the Alexandrians is not known from any other source, Marcion himself appears to have never mentioned it. In bringing together these texts, Marcion redacted what is perhaps the first New Testament canon on record, which he called the Gospel and the Apostolicon, which reflects his belief in the writings of Jesus and the Apostle Paul respectively. The prologues to the Pauline epistles which are not a part of the text, but short introductory sentences as one might find in modern study Bibles, found in several older Latin codices, are now widely believed to have been written by Marcion or one of his followers. Harnack makes the following claim. Conversely, several early Latin codices contain anti-Marcionite prologues to the Gospels. Topic. Comparison Topic. Reaction to Marcion by early Christians According to a remark by Origen commentary on the Gospel of Matthew 15.3, Marcion prohibited allegorical interpretations of the Scripture. Tertullian disputed this in his treatise against Marcion. Tertullian, along with Epiphanius of Salamis, also charged that Marcion set aside the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and John, and used Luke alone. Tertullian cited Luke chapter 6, verses 43 to 45, "A good tree does not produce bad fruit," and Luke chapter 5, verses 36 to 38, "Nobody tears a piece from a new garment to patch an old garment or puts new wine in old wineskins." In theorizing that Marcion set about to recover the authentic teachings of Jesus, Irenaeus claimed. Tertullian also attacked this view in De Carne Christi, Polycarp, according to Irenaeus in his work, Adversus Heresies, had an encounter with Marcion. Hippolytus reported that Marcion's phantasmal and docetist Christ was revealed as a man, though not a man, and did not really die on the cross. However, Ernest Evans, in editing this work, observes. Topic. Islamic accounts The Arabic name for Martianism, Marciuniya, is attested to by several historical sources of the Islamic Golden Age which appear to reveal that a meager, though not non-existent, Marcionite community continued to exist in lands of the medieval Near East into the 10th century. For example, the Christian writer Thomas of Marga states that, at the end of the 8th century, the Metropolitan of Jelen and Dalam, S. H. Uwalis, H., traveled into the remote parts of his sea, preaching, among the pagans, Marcionites and Manichaeans, 
In a similar way, the 10th century Muslim bibliographer Ibn al Nadim goes so far as to claim that the Marcionites are numerous in Kach and that there they practice openly, like the Manichaeans. Although information about the Khorasanite Marcionites is not related in any other historical source, Ibn al Nadim nevertheless also quotes a reliable informant. T. H. Ika, whom he says had seen Marcionite books and who reported that their script resembled that of the Manichaeans. Those medieval Muslim writers who specialized in the study of foreign religions often presented Marcionite theology accurately. For example, Al Mas Udi d. 956 states that the Marcionites taught two principles, good and evil, and justice is a third principle between the two", which, according to de Blois, are clear references to the Marcionite belief in the good God, evil matter, and the just God. In the majority of cases, the Islamic references to Martianism are really references to what has been termed neo-Martianism a sub-branch of the sect that seems to have lived in Khorasan in the 10th century. The classical Muslim thinkers rejected all types of Marcionite theology as deviations from the truth, and some thinkers, such as Ibn al-Malahimi wrote polemics against them as others did against Nicene Christianity. This did not, however, prevent many of the same thinkers from studying the Marcionites from an anthropological or sociological point of view, as is evident from Ibn al-Malahimi's extended reference to the customs of the Marcionites. <laughs> Recent scholarship In Lost Christianities, Bart Ehrman contrasts the Marcionites with the Ebionites as polar ends of a spectrum with regard to the Old Testament. Ehrman acknowledges many of Marcion's ideas are very close to what is known today as Gnosticism, especially its rejection of the Jewish God, the Old Testament, and the material world, and his elevation of Paul as the primary apostle. There were early Christian groups, such as the Ebionites, that did not accept Paul as part of their canon. Robert M. Price, an independent New Testament scholar formerly of Johnny Coleman Theological Seminary, considers the Pauline canon problem of how, when, and who collected Paul's epistles to the various churches as a single collection of epistles. Price investigates several historical scenarios and comes to the conclusion that Marcion was the first person known in recorded history to collect Paul's writings to various churches together as a canon. He summarizes, David Trobish, a New Testament scholar and curator of the Museum of the Bible in Washington, D.C., argues that comparison of the oldest manuscripts of Paul's letters show evidence that several epistles had been previously assembled as an anthology and published separate from the New Testament, and this anthology as a whole was then incorporated into the New Testament. Trobish further argues for Paul as the assembler of his own letters for publication. Topic. See also. Antinomianism. Antitacte. Christianity in the second century. Fathers of Christian Gnosticism. Gnosticism. History of Gnosticism List of Gnostic sects Montanism Supersessionism